So it's a big one for A.J. Puck. 142 outings out of the bullpen at 84 with Oakland. Of course, the 58 last year with the Marlins. Did start 42 games in the minor leagues. A lot of those came early on, though, in his minor league tenure. But here we go. A big league starter for the first time. Call that a sweeper, too. His first strikeout. And there is one away. Here is Brian Reynolds. 2-2 pitch is squibbed fair to first. Jake Berger's got it over at first base. And he runs it to the bag himself. And there's two outs. And he draws a walk with two outs. Brings up Andrew McCutcheon. 1-2. McCutcheon pops this one up. Near home plate. Bethancourt makes the play. Works around the two-out walk. And now the Marlins come to bat. And Martin Perez, he was going to fit nicely into this rotation. Another and lefty. And he, he doesn't waste any time. Yep, he gets it and throws it. Grounded to the first baseman, Connor Joe. That's pretty much Perez's game. And Josh Bell had quite a game at the plate and defensively throwing the ball accurately. That one's hit on the ground toward third, and the gold lover, Brian Hayes, couldn't handle it. Yeah, I'm guessing an error. The ball was uh, right at him, right through the wickets, as they say. You don't see that too often with Key Brian Hayes, who was the gold glove winner at third base last year. But now the Marlins have one on and one out for Jake Berger. He is going to get another one. Baseball's an amazing game. <laughs> amazing game double play to the second inning from Miami and he walks back to back hitters to start the second inning here's O'Neill Cruz against the lefty in the air to left dropping and drops in front of the left fielder de la Cruz and they're loaded O'Neill Cruz drops one into left base is loaded for Jared Triolo wow base is loaded walk one nothing four walks for puck RBI Triolo still nobody out Davis at third Cruz at second Triolo at first one one pitch to Taylor and that's hit high out toward left field looks playable for De La Cruz toward the corner makes the catch Davis tags throw goes to third and they'll get O'Neill Cruz what a great job by De La Cruz and you can't fault O'Neill Cruz for going to third because he thought De La Cruz was a little bit on his heels. He came up and fired a strike to third base. And sometimes a play like that will get a pitcher right back in a rhythm. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And a ground ball up the middle. But a rise is there, throws on the run to get the out. The help of a double play, but the Pirates get two. 3 2 up and in. Another walk by Puck. That's his fifth tonight. Keeps missing the net. And now Key Brian Hayes, who's walked his only time. Everybody knew about him, and that's a fair ball. Down the line and left. It's going to kick around into the corner, and Reynolds is going to be waved home. And Brian Reynolds will score on the key Brian Hayes double. It's 3 0. A ripping double to left for Key Brian Hayes, and the Pirates lead it 3 0. Key squared that up right there and hit right on the chalk line. I mean, another inch and a half to the left, and that's a foul baseball. But Brian Reynolds' first step at first base was great, gave him a great opportunity to score pretty easily right there. And he's at second with nobody out. Wow, missing badly a number of times. Wild pitch has Hayes at third. 62 pitches for Puck. He's gotten six outs in this game. The 3-1, another walk. His sixth walk. We're in the third inning, and there's nobody out. Men at the corners, a run in, 3 nothing Pirates. Here's Olivares, who walked and scored in the second. In on his hands, going to drop in for another hit. 4 nothing. Everett Olivares, a perfect Pirate so far. On base three times and three Plate appearances, two hits, and two ribbies. Now that's going to be it for Puck. Pirates have a 4 0 lead in the third. So those are the numbers from last year for Poeing, who the last couple of years has been something of a swingman for the Marlins. They'll hope for some length out of him today as uh, he comes in with two on and a couple of runs already home here for the Pirates. Ground ball towards short Anderson to a rise on to first close play and they'll only get the one. So first and third one out for O'Neill Cruz. Hoeing deals. Goes to the changeup and gets a big strikeout. Triolo. Bases loaded walk last inning. 1-0 to Triolo. In on the hands. And a rise had it for a moment. Throws off balance to first base and makes the play. Funky play for a rise but he's able to finish off the inning so the Marlins looking for a little two out rally here they have two on for Jake Berger that'll help base hit arise rounding third 
Here comes the throw from left. It's cut off, and Berger drives in a run. Four to one. I loved his aggressiveness, jumping on that first pitch from Perez. Picks up a, another early RBI this year. Don't waste any time when you get that one. Hit that ball hard. Well, they trim that deficit now to three. Ball four to Taylor. First walk for Hoeing. So now Connor Joe Taylor on at first with two away. We'll see if he might want to try to swipe a bag. And he hits it in the air to right center field. He was looking for something to drive, and he drives it to the wall in right center. Connor Joe's first hit of 2024 is an RBI double. 5-1 Bucks. Connor Joe goes the other way with power. Fastball elevated, outer third, base of the wall the other way. Michael Taylor, obviously with two outs, going all the way, coasting around. Jack Sawinski pinch hitting now for Edward Olivares. This one out towards center. Jazz coming in, diving, and makes another great play out in center field. Two days in a row, Jazz diving to take away hits. You know, we've seen a couple of catches. You mentioned the one last night, this one here, that I'm not so sure early in the year, last year, he makes them. But got great jumps last night and tonight, lays out and hangs on. Two on, two outs for O'Neill Cruz. A pop up to shallow left field. That's dropping and drops in for another hit. O'Neill Cruz heads to second. Another hit the other way for O'Neill Cruz. This one brings home Hayes. And the Pirates take a 6 1 lead. And again, the importance of putting the ball in play. And that's just another breaking ball that's up in the zone, kind of ties them up a little bit, but goes to no man's land. You put the ball in play, sometimes you, you get breaks. This will put runners at first and third and set up shop for Key Brian Hayes. Fly ball to right, plenty deep. Garcia makes the catch, sack fly for Hayes. And a 7 1 lead. 0 for 3 tonight for Avi Garcia. Does it again here, and Cruz couldn't handle that. Boy, again, another ball hit hard by Avi Garcia. This one comes up a little bit on Cruz, and he's probably going to be charged with an error. All right, has walked in single tonight. Pops it up. Infield fly. Now the batter is automatically out. One away. Kicks away from Davis. Both runners will move up. Fleming has the sign and delivers. Off the end of the bat, Anderson coming home. A courtesy glance from Fleming. RBI ground out for Bethancourt, and it's seven to two. But there are two outs. And now Fleming faces the reigning batting, batting champion. Line drive, and that'll do it. Raise the Jolly Roger and Josh Fleming. A three-inning save. The Pirates start 2024, a perfect 2-0.